Our hair is made up of three layers, the cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla. In healthy hair, we have 10 overlapping cuticle layers. This is the hair's protection for the inner structures. Healthy cuticles lay flat and smooth, maintaining the hair's moisture and elasticity. The cuticle layer is the hair's first line of defense. The hair's skin and its structure is essential for healthy hair. Cuticle cells are tough, translucent, and high in sulfur. The cuticle layer accounts for 10 to 15% of the total hair shaft. Once the cuticle is damaged, the cells are open and the cortex is now exposed to potential damage. The cortex is the most important layer representing the bulk of the hair shaft, typically 85 to 90% of the total hair shaft. Long keratin fibres made from natural elements such as carbon, oxygen, sulphur, hydrogen and nitrogen. These amino acids create the bonds that provide the hair with its strength, flexibility, texture and diameter, colour and elasticity. The hair's natural melanin is stored in this layer. It is here that the physical and chemical applications can cause weakness to the hair strands. The amino acids combine to form two types of protein. Halical coils, protein, are spring-like structures. There are approximately three halical proteins and they form a protofibril. Protofibrils are long spiraling ladder-like chains. The way these fibres are held together determines the strength of the hair, its thickness, its characteristics, whether it's straight or curly, and its elasticity. Eleven of these will spiral together and twist to form a microfibril, which in turn spiral and twist to create a macrofibril, which make up the cortical cells. These chains are what we refer to as a polypeptide chain or a helix coil. Cross bonds link the peptide chains and they are hydrogen, sodium chloride or salt bonds and disulfur bonds. The hydrogen bonds are weak and when the hair is wet these bonds are broken easily allowing the hair to take a new shape. The salt bonds are also weak and they are broken by water and heat but rejoin with heat and cooling. These bonds are not as important as the hydrogen and disulfide bonds. The strongest cross bonds, also known as the sulfur bonds, these are broken by chemicals. Examining hair texture is crucial as differences may cause unexpected results if not taken into consideration. Fine hair. The diameter of each strain will be thin. Fine hair often may feel light or lack natural body and bounce. It may be easier to lighten and achieve grey coverage. If not taken into account, colour results may appear darker. Fine hair can have a tendency to get more oily and appear limp more quickly. Medium hair typically has good elasticity, lightens well, has good grey coverage and is usually true to tone. Strands will feel fuller in texture. Coarse hair textures are the widest and are more prone to moisture loss. It has reduced elasticity and can be more challenging to lighten. Grey coverage results can appear lighter or translucent if not taken into consideration. Coarse hair will likely have a lot of natural body and may feel rough in texture and feel heavier.